our planet has ever faced. We just got finished with the hottest year in the history of the world. This year will break that record. We're here today because there is no environmental justice today. Yesterday, when we were at the AQMD, we saw fracking happening literally 10 feet away from people's houses. They had people in hazmat suits wearing respiratory gear 10 feet away from children's bedrooms. Nobody in those bedrooms had any kind of protective gear. Because you know they do us any kind of way down here. That gas station that was right there, I've never seen them dig the tank out. Because I remember them digging the tank out the gas stations on the corner of 130 million, there were three gas stations. I remember seeing one of them in Texaco, but the rest of them, I didn't see. What would happen if there was an accident? And part of that is what they call the worst case scenario. Inside this circle, depending on which way the wind blows, all these people will suffer serious and irreversible health effects with short-term exposure. Within this zone, if you're exposed with, for short exposure, uh, at that level of toxicity, you would be dead. Now, one guy safely shut down four units. We don't believe he can, but the company wants to do this and offer the benefit of saving money, cutting four jobs and saving whatever it comes out to. So they're not even addressing our concerns of we're the workers. What about the community? If they don't care about our safety, what about your safety? They live next door to us. What about the environment? To say that we live in a world where people are more important than profits is something we absolutely would love to be able to do. Unfortunately, that is not the world we live in. They really have to take that issue seriously, especially in our community environment, because our kids are growing up in here, and it's dangerous. Like, we all could get cancer. They feel like they can get away with stuff that they should not, you know? Like, they feel like they're above us. They're not going through Bel Air. They're not going through Palace Verde's estates. They're going through the neighborhoods where people can't fight back. If you couldn't go to Beverly Hills or, you know, something like that, you know, and have that, they wouldn't do that. But over here, they don't care. You're rich. It's not going to happen there. What it happened here was low poverty and you know, all that kind of stuff. It happens here. It's infuriating to me when I hear that we can't force ExxonMobil to remove hydrofluoric acid because it would cost maybe a hundred million dollars. How much money have we spent to keep the world safe for ExxonMobil? I don't even know, I'm sure it's trillions. They threaten our lives here with this form of industrial terrorism. If terrorists ever did to our nation what the fossil fuel company has done, we would be fighting them hand to hand. But this rogue and reckless industry gets away with dumping their toxic waste with no penalty. They want to come in and talk about gangs and stuff like that. Y'all the first ones that really feel like y'all want to know about, you know, the environment. I want to have mostly everybody right here die. No. Lead poisoning, uh, asthma. Everybody needs to be diagnosed. They need to compensate us for doing that. And they, you know, it's gonna take a lot of people that's willing to fight because uh, they feel as though that we're not educated enough to tackle something like that, you know. But if we can get somebody behind us. And, you know, it ain't all about money. It's all about living a clean, in, in, in a clean environment for our children and the children to come.